Instructional Video for the CBOX Intermodal Warehousing System, or IWS. How to position the support platform and support blocks. Open the two swing cargo doors of the ISO container and secure them in the fully open position. Unlock one or more IWS that are secured. Slide the large red steel locking bar inward to disengage it from the rear corner post of the container. Position the support platform at the open door end of the container. Install and tighten the two twist lock assemblies to secure the support platform to the container. The procedure is the same for a 40-foot IWS. How to unload one or more IWS from an ISO container. Wrap a heavy-duty chain around the carriage of the forklift. Insert the tines into the rear end forklift pockets. Secure the chain on both the left and right hand rear corners of the IWS. Wrap the chain around the heavy duty tie down bar provided. Put the forklift in reverse and pull the IWS 100% out of the container. This procedure will leave about 10% of the front of the IWS resting on the support platform. The single IWS is unloaded from the ISO container in the same way as multiple IWS. However, a chain is not always required if the forklift tines have sufficient friction. A 40-foot IWS is unloaded from a container in the same way as the 20-foot. How to unstack one or more IWS from the warehouse storage area. Unlock the IBC intermodal box connectors, which are semi-automatic vertical twist locks, just below the stack that you determine to be safe to lift. Unlock the four IBCs using your gloved hand, or if at height, a release pole. Pull cable out and upward to secure the cable in the extended position. Properly connect the material handling equipment to the IWS stack then lift and carry the stack to its new location.
This procedure is the same for 20-foot or 40-foot IWS when unlocking from IWS legs. How to install IWS legs and IBC twist locks. Select a left hand IWS leg. Remove rubber cover plate. Loosen the securing bolt and slacken off the wedge. Insert the leg twist lock into the top corner fitting of the IWS deck, left hand to left hand. Rotate the whole leg through 90 degrees so that the leg twist lock is locked inside the mounting plate and the leg's top fitting is oriented with the end of the side holes facing outward from the container as ISO specifies. Tighten securing bolts to a firm fit. Replace the black rubber cover plate. It will also be facing outward in 20-foot direction when inserted correctly. Install double-ended IBC twist locks with the yellow cones facing upwards in the top corner fitting of all four legs. Set the semi-automatic IBC twist lock to automatic mode by pulling the cable out and downward to secure it in the extended position. To remove IWC twist locks, pull cable out and downwards to unlock the lower twist lock from the IWS leg. IWS Stacking Installation Stacking empty IWSs on top of each other is the same procedure as stacking a 20-foot IWS onto four IWS legs with twist locks. How to stack one or more empty IWS. A second IWS must be aligned such that all four corner fittings of the IWS are lowered onto the IBC semi-automatic twist lock on the legs. Lower the 20-foot IWS with authority. This force will cause the IBCs to open and lock shut if done correctly. How to stack one or more loaded IWS in a warehousing storage area. These steps can be repeated if additional levels of IWS are required. A second IWS is being locked onto a set of four foot blue IWS legs. A third IWS is being locked onto a set of three foot yellow IWS legs. A fourth IWS is being locked onto a set of two foot orange IWS legs. It is recommended to attach the four legs and the four IBCs to the IWS that is being lifted while it's at ground level, then lift it onto the stacked assembly. How to load one or more IWS into an ISO container. Position a suitable forklift at the rear of the 20-foot or 40-foot IWS. Adjust both forks to fit the centers of the fork pockets. Slowly insert the forks into the end fork pockets of the IWS until contact is made with the end of the pockets. Use the forklift to slowly push the IWS forward into the container, ensuring that there is an equal gap between the sides of the IWS and the container walls. Continue loading until both front corner and guide blocks of the IWS frame contact the two front corner posts of the container.
lower the IWS gently to the floor of the container and withdraw the fork tines. To lock one or more IWS inside an ISO container, slide the red steel locking bar outward to engage it into the shoring slots of the container's rear corner post. The procedure is the same for a 40-foot IWS. How to position the ISO adapter onto the truck or trailer's twist lock. Position IWS ISO adapters on the truck such that the plate apertures correspond with the twist lock location on the truck or trailer. Install IWS ISO adapters at both ends of the truck or trailer. Lock all four of the truck or trailer's twist locks. How to load one or more IWS onto a truck or trailer after the ISO adapters are in place. Lower the IWS platform onto the IWS adapter's twist locks and lock all four twist locks. Double check that all twist locks are locked on the truck and on the IWS ISO adapters before transportation. How to unload one or more IWS from a truck or trailer with standard ISO twist locks after the adapters are in place. Unlock all four of the twist locks on the IWS ISO adapters. Lift the IWS platform off of the IWS ISO adapters twist lock. How to remove the ISO adapter from the truck or trailer's twist locks. Unlock all four truck or trailer's twist locks. Use proper material handling equipment to lift off both IWS ISO adapters from the end of the truck or trailer. IWS unstacking from legs, empty or loaded. Pull cable out and upward to secure the cable in the extended position. Properly connect the material handling equipment to the IWS stack, then lift and carry the stack to its new location. How to uninstall IWS legs and IBC twist locks. To remove IWC twist locks, pull cable out and downwards to unlock the lower twist lock from the IWS leg. Remove the rubber cover plate. Loosen the securing bolt and slacken off the wedge. Rotate the whole leg through 90 degrees so that the leg twist lock is locked inside the mounting plate and the leg top casting is oriented with the end of the sight hole facing to the side of the container. 